Falcons getting ready to kick it off. That's a touchback. Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Second and ten. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third and ten. Throws the pass. Forces a three and out. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. He wants to return this one. He's going to be tackled right around the 42-yard line. Lined up in the nickel. First and ten. Escaping the pressure. He's looking to go down the field here. And complete and almost intercepted. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. When you see the cover two defense, you got to know where to throw the football. He did not, and that's why the ball goes incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. away from the pressure has the reception all alone that was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket he keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion this play set up by the long gainer play fake here there is a flag out challenging the defenders to the right side will not decline and take the penalty. First down following the penalty. Gives it to Steven Jackson. They bring him to the turf. The Falcons call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Split backfield here. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Looking to go deep. What a catch. They started with practice back in July, training camps, all through the regular season. This was the goal from the beginning, to advance to the Super Bowl. And they have done so today with their win in the NFC title game.
Bill, you were in this position with the Giants to win the conference championship. To know you're going to the Super Bowl, how huge is it? Yeah, it, it, Tim, it's so huge. It, it's such a great feeling because of all the emotions, all the hard work, all the criticism you take, even when it's going well. But to accomplish this, it is great. Now, go to the Super Bowl and make it happen. It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Bird. And Dion High step into Vader. To rise up to the challenge. Just as high. It's Elway leading the drive. And going back to back with Sharp and Shanahan. In Denver, they still win for John. biggest game in all of sports is mere moments away. Everything is set for the Super Bowl matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Denver Broncos here at MetLife Stadium. Bill, you get to the Super Bowl. You have that extra week off, and then you have all the scoop. All the insane amount of publicity has got to be draining before the big game. No, oh, Jim, you know better than that. You and I laugh about it all the time. These players love it. You can't talk about them enough. What do you think about me? Tell me more. We love it. So they can't wait to get a chance to go out there and play today and see who's the best.
Jim Nance and Phil Sims at Super Bowl 48 East Rutherford, New Jersey. Partner, we're ready to find out the best people. Yeah, we are, Jim. And you know, the players, there's so many thoughts that go through your mind. But you know what? If you win this game, you know what it does to you and all your teammates and coaches and even the fans. You're bonded forever about this moment that you have a chance to create. And let's check in the latest from the sidelines. Here's Danielle Bellini. Thanks, guys. It's a big moment here at Super Bowl 48, and none of the players or coaches are overlooking it. They recognize the magnitude of tonight's game. And, guys, we've seen the nail biting. You can literally feel the nerves down here. But both teams believe that once we just get going, the butterflies will go away, and they'll be focused on winning the biggest game of their lives. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. He'll take a knee in the end zone. Four-time NFL MVP quarterback Peyton Manning. Royals in the slot. First and ten. It's over to Welker. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. The opening touchdown of the Super Bowl. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. The Super Bowl is like no other game out there. It's so big. The tension is so much more than the other playoff games. And when you score first, that is a big, big deal. More than anything, it's a great relief to get that out of the way. made it. The Broncos back deep ready to receive. We send it to the 20 yard line. First down here. Balls handed the football. One of Peyton's favorite targets is wide receiver Eric Decker. Eric Decker finds a way, Jim, every game to get behind the defense two or three times, and Peyton Manning loves that about him. Royals lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. I that left side. And he's intercepted. They pounce on him there. Davis heading out now for his first series. First down. Offense reading for the snap. He'll fire it out to the touchdown. touchdown. Now we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Falcons had great starting field position following the interception, and they did a good job of not squandering that opportunity to score. And certainly the defense will be looking to force another turnover in a moment here. And a touchback. Nickel formation here for the defense. First and ten. OC Humanura brings the quarterback down. As we get a look at the defensive starters, this secondary will certainly need to be on point here in the passing game. Second down coming up. Defense comes up with yet another sack. Well, you see it all the time. 
when the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. It's a safety, and he's going down again. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Tony Gonzalez announced back on March the 12th that he was not going to retire. He was going to return for another season for the Falcons. Well, I sure don't blame him. First off, he can still do the job. He had a tremendous year last year, and of course, he's not doing it for free. So there's a lot of good reasons to come back and play, and it's a really good football team they have down there. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. The Super Bowl. It's as big as it gets. And just the fan side of you, Phil, what sticks out in your memory pack? Well, I think the game, one of my favorite games of all time, Jim, when you talk about the Super Bowls, the Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, I loved them both. Roger Stallback, Terry Bradshaw, and I remember the Jackie Smith drop in the end zone. Just the emotion that came from him, from all the Cowboys and Roger Stallback. Uh, it, it was an uh, exciting game to watch. One of the leaders of this Denver defense is linebacker Wesley Woodyard. You know, the saying the word leader about Wesley Woodyard is that's what you say, captain in high school, captain in college, and also a captain for the Denver Broncos. He is a tremendous player. Oh, there's nothing like a play action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. He's scrambling now. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast, you have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. It'll be second and nine. The ball's deflected and complete. Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. And Davis is standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The quarterback, he's got the touchdown. Let's give the receivers a lot of credit here. Even though the quarterback did a good job of getting out of trouble, they were watching, they saw him, they moved with him, and that's why he was wide open for the touchdown catch. The Broncos are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score is 23 to 0. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. One last play before the quarter ends. and 10. Ball's going to take the handoff now. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the start of the second quarter. It's now second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Third and five. Scanning the field. Throws a strike. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. First and ten. The throw to the left. And incomplete. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Ball's loose, a recovery by the defense, bringing the play to an end. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are gonna attack it. You've gotta know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. Now 
first and ten. Play action fake, looking to throw. Very nearly intercepted. Well, there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side, and the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing the quarterback can do except that throw another incomplete pass. Looking to scramble, gets past the first wave, and he'll step out of bounds. Well, that time he's under pressure. Uh, he can't stand in the pocket. He takes off, and as you look down the field, nobody is open, so the quarterback is forced to run, and he picks up some big yards. Two-minute warning. And Gonzalez is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Working that left side. The margin is increased with another touchdown. I don't know if the defense is going to stop them the whole day. So far, they haven't. They are getting blown out. I got to give the offense credit, though. They are executing at a very high level. Inside of the uprights. The Falcons' offense is on the sideline right now, bathing in the moment after putting up points. But it's the defense that really made the difference there, setting up the score with the fumble recovery. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The defense comes out in the nickel. Tight ends in motion here. First and 10. They pick up the first down with that reception. Unable to bring it in. Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Royals lined up in the slot. Second down at 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Not a wise throw there into double coverage. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. It'll be a third and 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. The Falcons signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Broncos with a nickel look here on defense. First and ten. Falcons now move the chains. You can't play zone coverage against his quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. Davis going to take it from the gun. Gets away from the pressure, looking to the right side and throwing. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. And Gonzalez is moved from the tight end position to the slot. Second down and 10, scrambling out of the pocket. Perfectly thrown. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This is everything you don't want to do as a quarterback. You're under pressure, you scramble backwards, you're under heavy pressure, and you just fire it down the field. What an arm by this guy and he gets a big completion. They come to the line and it's first down. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. He fires it in there tight. 
the Falcons use another timeout here, and they have one left. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Davis is back in shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Falcons will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. The kick is good. That does it for the first half. Broncos trail in this one. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The offense lined up in the full house. Running away from the pressure, looking for an open receiver on the right. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out incomplete. You got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. That pass was hurried. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Third and 10. In trouble now. Throws to the right. Under pressure and incomplete. Well, that's a good job by my man. Really good effort. Gets outside the pocket. And, but boy, once he gets outside the pocket, that's a terrible throw. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Royals, a receiver in the slot. Throwing now to his left. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find a open guy and it results in an incompletion third and ten looks to his left rocks him with that hit and the ball's gonna fall into play that's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch he knew the defender was close so he didn't put all of his heart into it the defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground they'll take it at the 20. Now in first down, Jackson's going to secure the handoff. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards. and gets them another first down. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Picks up just a couple. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Jones going to get set in the slot for this snap. Going to drop back on the run. Challenging the defenders to the right side. We see it so often nowadays, all quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket, but as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it, nobody open. Just another incomplete pass. Trying to work that left side, and now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Good job by the running back in that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. 
Well, that's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. Gonna take off with it. Looking to the right side and throwing. Inaccurate with that one. White's in the slot. Second down and 10 as they go ground here. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Nice run that time by the running back, and if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. That is play number 10 on this drive. Second and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. The formation here, shotgun. Escaping the pressure, eyeing that left side. He had no time to get set. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure. Uh, gave himself time, even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. No good. An empty trip for the offense. I think all the fans, and us included, thought this kick was going to be good, but... We can see the official sign, no good, it just missed. First down and 10. Ball's gonna be incomplete, a hit, knocked the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you gotta make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The defense gets a sack. Well, we know one thing, if you're a defensive tackle, you got power, and it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella, busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. Third and 17, looking for an open receiver on the right. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Wants to give it a go here. Gain of 12. That will bring us to the end of the third here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the beginning of the fourth quarter. First down here. The final quarter underway now with this snap. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. And here we have second down. Second and five. Jackson's got it on the handoff. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. First down here after the run. Jackson's taking the handoff. He's in the clear, in on the stop. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. That's a delay of game.
First and 15 after the penalty. Trying to make something happen. Launches it down the field. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Almost caught. Well, that was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Throws to the right. And he's almost intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. And it's a fake field goal under fire on that throw. Good job by the defense. Their team is down. It's in the second half. And the opposing offense, what do they do? They go for it on fourth down. You are ready for the play. You make the stop. That'll turn things around. First and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That catch, good for a first down. Well, they say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. I don't know who those people are. They don't know what they're talking about. It's a big part of playing quarterback. Look at that. He fires it in there in between the defenders for the completion. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got a time to pass where the football's going where the receiver is going to catch it and do the perfect timing, hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. He's got a chance to return this one. Breaks free. Tackles made. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First and ten, getting away from the pressure. Loads it up, it's going deep. Could have been intercepted. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position, knocks it down. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. For the first time ever, the Atlanta Falcons have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is heading to the state of Georgia. Phil, you're one of the few people on the planet who knows what it feels like right now to win.